up YouTube? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Leah. You guys might also know me on Instagram as Leah Alicia Fitness. Um, this is my Road to Stage episode 5. Um, as a novice figure competitor, today is my non-work day, my um, day off. Yeah, today's my day off um, from the hospital. So I had yesterday off and today off. Um, so I was able to do my check-ins this morning and sleep a little bit more. I think I'm going to take you guys through like, I don't know, just like a day in the life. And I'm not really sure what I have planned today. I might go grocery shopping. So if I do that, I'll take you guys with me. And also I'm hitting upper body today. So I will film that and show you guys what we're doing right now. I did kind of just show you guys my first meal. Um, I started eating it and then I was like, shoot, I should probably show them. Um, but it is just my egg white omelet that I have every single morning. Um, you guys have probably seen it if you guys have seen my other videos. Um, I eat that as my meal one every morning, same breakfast. Um, and I have spinach, onions, mushrooms. I put tomato in there today, so we got a little fancy. Um, what else? Egg whites and I think that's it. Um, so I have that and then I have my gallon of water right here and I'm going to have some coffee now and then I'll wait through two to three hours, have my pre-workout meal and then I'll probably have to the gym. I have just left Costco um, what I showed you earlier is I got my eyebrows done and I get my eyebrows threaded usually and it's been quite a while so um, I've never been to that place and I think she did a pretty good job um, so yeah I, I did that and then I just went to Costco and I just recently started going to Costco because my sister has a membership there <clears throat> it is probably like my favorite favorite place to be like there's so much stuff um but I ended up getting I just get egg whites there um because it comes in like obviously the bulk or whatever and I go through so many egg whites um it's just good price so I got egg whites and then I got my yogurt there usually at Walmart I think it's like five five dollars or something and then here you get like a big tub and it's five dollars so um definitely a good deal and then also tip um, I used to buy my Optimum Nutrition Protein Powder off of Bodybuilding.com, which I still, I love Bodybuilding.com because you can like order it and they will literally ship and be at your door the next day. It's crazy how fast. Um, but Costco has Optimum Nutrition. Um, they don't have the 10 pound bag, but they have the five pound bag and they have it in Extreme Milk Chocolate, which is the best flavor. And it was $50. $50 um for the five pound bag which is i think cheaper than optimum um cheaper than bodybuilding.com so there's a little pro tip for you gonna go home gonna go eat my pre-workout meal and then we're gonna head to the gym all right i have literally propped you up on all the clean dishes that were just washed but i'm having my pre-workout meal so i have my cream of rice which I have all the time. Um, my sliced apples. Yeah. <laughs> this is Michael. Hello. My sister's husband. Um, we're going to the gym together, so he's gonna be filming my workout for me. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna have my sliced apples, and then I'll show you guys quickly how I make my mug cake. Um, I think I've showed you guys before, but I'll just go over it again. Um, so, I grab a bowl. And then I use 50 grams of banana. So I just zero my scale, weigh out the 50 grams. And 
And then I take a fork and I literally just mash up the banana. And then this meal, I have 40 grams of protein. So it's like a scoop and a half, um, but it's really 51 grams of protein powder. So I use my, I just use Optimum Nutrition, the um, Extreme Milk Chocolate, which is my favorite flavor, like I said before. And I just weigh out 51 grams. I use a tiny bit of baking soda, like literally the smallest amount. And then um, I want to, I don't really know exactly how much almond milk, it's kind of just like a consistency. I want to say it's like 80 grams maybe. And then stir it up. And this is kind of what the consistency looks like. And, all right, and then this is what it looks like. It's kind of just like a cake consistency. But then when you put your spoon in, it's like watery. Not watery, I don't know why I keep saying watery, but um, uh, liquid maybe. So it's not dry. Um, I have my cream of rice and then I have my apple and I have this pretty much every single pre-workout. Um, so this is my second meal. I'm going to eat this and then we'll head to the gym.
something to make sure I'm not fucking sore. <laughs> had a really freaking good workout and now I'm going to have some oatmeal um, oatmeal I'll put a little protein powder in some bananas I'll show you guys how I do that and that'll be my post-workout meal got 75 grams of carbs between both of these and then two uh, scoop and a half of protein powder and that is all. So I just showed you my fourth meal, which was just shrimp and a few mushrooms and some green beans. And now I'm having my last meal, which is just Greek yogurt and 14 grams, no, 31 grams of peanut butter, which is 14 grams of fat. So that's my last meal. Gonna have this and a tea, and then I'm gonna head to bed. Um, I did kind of want to sit down and update you guys. I just got my check-in back from Alex, so let me eat this, and then I'll be right back. I've eaten, I have gotten ready for bed, and now I'm just gonna sit down and kind of update you guys on how this week went what next week is looking like. Um, so this week was pretty tough for me. Um, I did make an Instagram post about this, but um, towards the beginning of the week, I was seriously struggling mentally um, with food and kind of just like really obsessing over it. Um, you know, I have been prepping or kind of this like prep before the prep since February um, and it's now September and although I am in a diet break I've kind of been in that dieting mindset for so many months now um, I think I kind of just like mentally like lost it for a second and I felt very in control of myself and my thoughts um, you know, like I started watching 10,000 calorie challenges on YouTube and um, constantly looking up food and food pages on Instagram. And while that is fun to see and stuff, um, it did have a very big impact on me um, and my emotions. And I kind of allowed myself to... Um, instead of being like mentally strong, like I usually would be and being like, oh Leah, like food's always there. The, you know, this, you're 
very committed to what you're doing, stuff like that. I saw it more of, wow, I wish I could just eat that and I wish I could, um, I wish I wasn't doing this and it was just a very like negative mindset. Um, so I had that going on. I was working two night shifts. Um, so, you know, having to wait till four o'clock to eat, um, it was pretty tough because I was waiting all day to eat. Also, you know, dealing with the mental aspect and that was really tough. Um, so I just wanted to like kind of talk about how, you know, even though someone is in a diet break and their calories are higher than what they were, you can still struggle with um, food focus and cravings and all that stuff because I definitely did and I still do. Um, but thankfully, after my two night shifts and I, I am on my period too, so that definitely didn't help <laughs> with, you know, um, my emotions and being extra hungry. But um, thankfully, the past couple of days, I've really been able to um, kind of find my why again and why I love this sport so much and what makes me really excited about it. Um, because I did really want to give up the, at the beginning of this week. I really wanted to just be like, you know what? I've been doing this for so long. I don't want to do this anymore. I, um, like, I really thought I was gonna cheat on my diet. Um, and it's just really, really tough. It's like very draining and it put me into such a negative mindset and uh, I'm just very thankful that I kind of collected myself and I feel so much better. I feel very motivated and determined moving forward. Um, as for, I'm not watching any more 10,000 calorie challenges. Um, and I kind of restricted like the whole, we're not looking at food on Instagram as much. Um, but for some reason, like all the food is on my For You page. Like I open up the app and it's like, oh, cookies and all that stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, I want it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I just wanted to remind everyone that even though you're in a diet break, even though you're not at depths of prep or whatever, you can still struggle with food focus, cravings, and wanting to give up, and those feelings are normal. And just how you deal with them and how you move forward is the most important part, not giving into them. Um, I did hear back from Alex, and it's looking like this week is going to stay the same. We're at the same macros. Um, I get two refeeds this week, um, and everything is the same as the past two weeks. Um, my weight was 131 this morning, um, and this week it kind of jumped up, and I think that also had to do with my food focus and all that stuff and the stress, working two night shifts and getting my period and stuff. Um, my weight did jump up to 130, almost 135, 134.8. So um, I think all of that just kind of really stressed me out. And I don't know, I just lost it. So I'm very happy to be back on track, back in the right mindset, and um, excited to just continue to check off the boxes and keep working forward towards my goals. So that's what I wanted to update you guys on. Um, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and just being, um, I don't know, just watching and supporting me. Um, I really, really do appreciate it. And I think that's all I want to talk to you guys about. So thank you guys again. Please like and subscribe. Um, and follow me on Instagram at Leah Alicia Fitness. And I will see you guys next video.